The suit is made of highly vulcanized rubber material that is completely watertight. The material is very resistant to abrasion and puncture damage. Steel toe safety boots are made as part of the suit. Divers radiation gloves attach to the suit with hard rings at the wrist cuff of the sleeves. Two pairs of gloves are worn and each is sealed separately. In addition, work gloves are worn over rad gloves to prevent damage to the gloves or the seal. There are watertight wrist seals beneath the gloves so that in case of a glove leak, water cannot enter the suit. The suit is pressurized to keep water out. Under the suit, the diver wears the same protective clothing worn by all of the radiation workers. In the unlikely event of a suit leak, the anti-contamination clothing would prevent direct skin contamination. The diver helmet seals to the suit at the neck with a watertight O-ring seal. The helmet is mechanically locked in place. The intake and exhaust valves on the helmet are specifically designed for nuclear diving to prevent any water entry. During diving, air is always flowing to the helmet to maintain a positive pressure and keep water out. Air hoses are connected to the diver helmet with screw-on fittings and cannot disconnect on their own. Only one connection point will be underwater. Hoses are pressure tested to ensure they are safe and are always pressurized to prevent any water entry. The diver helmet and dive suit are leak tested before each dive. An in-water leak check is also performed as the diver begins his dive. During the dive, the diver continuously checks for any leaks. If any small leakage is suspected, the diver will quickly leave the water. The diver can be removed from the water within one to three minutes. During the dive, the diver is continuously monitored for radiation exposure by teledosimetry. The dive control personnel can see his radiation dose rate on a computer at all times and can also monitor his total accumulated dose while diving. In addition, divers can be monitored daily by bioassay for any possible internal uptake. When the diver leaves the water, his suit is checked for contamination and dose rate. He is decontaminated while still in the dive suit to remove any loose contamination from the suit or helmet exterior. The suit is then carefully removed and the diver removes his protective inner clothing as he exits a contamination area. He is once again checked for any contamination. All personnel are carefully trained in these procedures. An experienced dive supervisor continuously monitors all aspects of the diving operation. Using these procedures, UESI has performed thousands of dives in contaminated water without a serious incident.